All right, so now that we've seen the concept of producers, we need to see the concept of consumers, and then we'll have an entire end-to-end -end flow. So consumers, they read data from a topic, as you can expect. They only have to specify the topic name they want to read from and one broker to connect to. And like for similar for producers, basically Kafka knows that once you connect to one broker, you connected the entire cluster. Data is read from each partitions from the topic, okay? But again, Kafka is really smart. You don't have to worry about it. You just say, I want to connect from to this topic, and that's it. You'll read from it. So this is what it looks like in a graph. We have two partitions, one consumer, and the consumer reads the data in order for each of these partitions. It's really important to understand that the consumer will consume the data in parallel for partition 0 and 1. But within each partition, for example, for partition 0, the consumer will see message 0, then it will see message 1, then 2, then 3, and so on. So messages are read in order within a partition, but they're read in parallel across partitions. You really need to understand this concept. Now, consumers, they're organized into consumer groups. And the reason for this is that to enhance parallelism. Each consumer within a group, they will read from one or many par or more partitions, but they're all exclusive to each other. And we'll see what that means in the diagram. The result is that you cannot have more consumers than partitions. Otherwise, some will just do nothing. So let's take an example right here. We have topic one, and it has three partitions. Now we take a consumer group with two consumers. And these two consumers, they have to decide which partition to read from. And remember, they cannot read from the same partitions. So here's an example. Consumer one will read from partition zero and partition one, and consumer two will read from partition two. And that works really well. If we take an example with a consumer group with three consumers, it looks like this. Each consumer reads from one partition, as you can see with the arrows. Finally, if we take a consumer group composed of only one consumer, well, that one consumer will read from all the partitions. So that's what it looks like here in yellow. So really remember that graph. It's really important uh, that you see that consumers this, this share partitions, basically. And have a very good look at the orange one. If we add a fourth consumer, it won't be able to read anything because partitions are already assigned to consumers. Okay, so now you may ask me, how do consumers know where to read from? I mean, and that's a really good question. And the answer is consumer offsets. So remember the offsets, it's 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 11, and whatever, it's increasing for each partition. Well, Kafka store the offset at which a consumer group will have been reading. That's really important. So that offset storage is actually stored in a Kafka topic named consumer offsets. And basically, when a consumer has been reading some data and processed it, it will be committing offsets. So let's look at what it looks like in the diagram. And basically, if your consumer process dies, you'll be able to read back from the offset that was committed. So here we have our topic and as you can see, the offsets are well above 4,000, so a lot of data has been written. And here's my consumer. And the consumer, after reading some data in the topic, it will just commit the offset. And that offset right here, the vertical orange bar, it's exactly where the, off the consumer has been reading until. So Kafka knows that this consumer, which is part of the consumer group, remember, this consumer will have read up to 4262. Now, the consumer knows that it should be reading from onwards. The idea is that if that consumer goes away for five minutes and it dies and then it comes back up, Kafka will be able to tell the consumer, hey, here's where you left it off, which is like, allows you to just keep on processing your data, which is awesome. So really, really important concept. So make sure you remember this, make sure you really have that diagram in your head around how consumer groups will read from the same topic and how consumers get partitions assigned to them because that's how you optimize the performance of your Kafka consumers. So thanks for watching and next we'll see about Zookeeper.